Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Thief 2. Well, we're going towards the smuggler's boat, obviously. Let's see what we can find. I wonder if he will come all the way out here. Or if he's going to be a pain in the butt. I'm just going to follow him. That looks like Captain Davidson's cargo ship. He's a shady I guy. Well, that did well, didn't it? Let's duck down into the fancy water, shall we? Ah, looks like I can go back this way. Maybe I should have come this way to begin with. Ooh, I turn the boat, turn the wheel. Yay! Uh, I found a secret, I guess. that guy. Oh crap, he's right there. Oh, and he lost interest in me. Alright, I'm going to take care of him though right now because he is already a pain in my butt. I think I've taken care of about just about every I'm gonna one. Make you bleed. Ow. I'm, I'm going to run, run away now. Why don't you come down here? Huh? A healing potion. Might as well take it now. Jerk. I mean, he can see me swimming around, so why doesn't he just you know, go up to the the deck there and wait for me. Maybe it's because he's not very smart. <sighs> I don't see him. Right. I hear spiders. Uh, let's see. Is, he, is Davidson's key going to work here? Yes, it is. It's a four digit. What? Wait, what? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Captain's log. Make port we did at Rappens Dockside Shipping. No safe harbor this, but the reward is surely worth the risk. We need to unload the spice right quick and stash it among the crates inside the bu that building B. Our cut of the bounty should be in the safe inside Al Australide's office as usual. I'll stash the spice while the crew unloads Rampon's cargo. I'm eager to cast off and set sail for our rendezvous point where we can join the Captain Kara's with Captain Kara's sloop. From there... It's on to the hunting grounds. That fool Gulliver continues to set out on our merchantmen, just ripe for the plundering. So it really is pirates that are uh, making his business not worth it. Ooh, looks like I can go that way. Go that way. Go that way too. Oh, it's locked. But I got a key, so it doesn't matter. Man, I'm finding a lot of secrets this time. Ah. Another secret. Oh. There's secrets all over the place. Okay, I heard those spiders earlier. I don't know where they are, though. Yeah, it is dark in here. But you know what? Ooh, there's a good one. Explosive barrels in here. I don't know if throw it. That one's weird. What was that? I saw smoke come up. Huh. I don't see any reason why. Uh, hello. You are a dead body. Uh, I, actually, I was trying to get the sword, but um, I don't think I've ever found him before. Let's get out of here. Am I done here? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave. Oop. I know there's things that I have not done yet, but I can only do so much. Oh, it's a spider. There's a spider in with your apples. You might want to get that looked at. A couple spiders. Goodbye. All right, let's get the hell out of here my blood. 
Where is the smuggler? Oh. He's not around. That's good for me. I've never gotten there. Oh, that's just for the crates. Not a big deal. There's a few places I wasn't able to get into, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. We've got what we needed story-wise from this place. If you want to get into them, well, there's a reason I leave a link to where you can buy this game. To any games that I play, even the bad ones, unfortunately. Because just because I don't like it doesn't mean you won't like it. Let's climb on the crates. <laughs> Something fun. Get a good view of everything. So this is definitely a big warehouse complex, I gotta admit. Ah, <clears throat> ow. I like how I hurt myself and then I climbed right back <clears throat> up. Found some more gear after I broke my leg and fell back down again. Oh, that's the body that I put there. I thought that was something else entirely. Like something lootable. But it was not, unfortunately. Okay. Well, I've opened everything up. I did want to check to see if there was another one over here. And there is. What is it? Four, five, seven. Inventor. That's the what I was looking for. So four, five, seven. Four, five, seven. Don't forget this time. Don't start talking about other things. Just remember four, five, seven. Four, five, seven. Come on. Four, five, seven. Still curious about the counter that I saw in. Um, Captain's quarters on the smuggler's ship and the number on the side of that. I don't know. I don't remember if I've ever. Anybody in here? This place looks like an inventor shop. I don't remember if I've ever gotten anything in there. Um, it, that doesn't really matter because <laughs> all that's around here is loot. go. Wow, this is a uh, large piece of machinery, I guess. Well, you'd think if, you'd think there'd be a gear in here. Can't turn any of these? Nope. High voltage. Zzz, ow! Time to leave. Ah, shut up. Back to my safe pile of boxes. <laughs> ah, let's look at the sky. Well, not bad. Stats. Uh, oops. <laughs> um. I missed quite a bit of loot, but again, not a big deal. Nine out of 14 secrets in this map. Wow. Strike hot iron and call forth sparks. Strike a man and call forth fury. To shape man or metal to thy will, thou must strike with force. Collected sermons of Karis. Last night, an unusual opportunity knocked on my door. Naturally, I was a little suspicious, but my visitor said the job was too sensitive to go through the usual channels. He claimed that an old contact of mine told him where to find me. I was about to ask him who our mutual friend was when he managed to distract me. The job is to break into Shoalsgate Station, headquarters of the City Watch, and quietly frame a certain Lieutenant Hagen for robbing the evidence vault. Hagen is Sheriff Truard's number two man, and has no doubt made life difficult for someone he shouldn't have. My unusually resourceful employer has given me all the information I need to pull this off, including a very detailed map of the building. All I have to do is choose a way in, plan my route, and get back out without alerting the bulls. 
I realize that breaking into Shoals Gate is like looking down a Burrick's mouth with a lit match. But it would pay me enough to lay low for a while. And it doesn't hurt to be giving the police some dirty laundry to deal with either. Besides, with my luck, if I don't take this job, I could end up in there anyway. Well, first a prison, and now a police station. So what we're going to do is we're going to frame someone. The mechanists have installed an alarm mechanism in the Shoalsgate station that can be triggered by either mechanical eyes or the guards. Don't let them set off the alarm. The frame won't stick if the city watch suspects you were involved. Don't knock out or kill more than two guards. Go to Lieutenant Hagen's office and grab a personal item of his to be used for the framing. Drop the personal item in the vault on the third floor. Steal the strong box from the vault and leave it in Lieutenant Hagen's office. Leave Shoalgate Station in one piece, hopefully. So I can't knock out more than two people. That's unfortunate. So let's try not to knock out anybody. I've got two invisibility potions. I probably don't need any more than that. Do I have any rope arrows? I've got two, so that's not a priority. I've got three, three of those. Got a scouting orb. I'll show you guys the scouting orb. I don't normally use them, but I will show them to you. Um, I guess I'll get an invisibility potion. Uh, a slow fall potion, I guess. Uh, this guy, I got 145 left. What do I want? And mouse arrow. And that's it. Alright. Actually, this is the perfect place to show you. Let me F5 real quick. The scouting orb. So, we lost an eye in the last one. So, we got a new one. Let's see if I can get this right. And we've got some dancing zombies over here. Pretty cool, huh? I also got a drop of water on the lens. Don't remember that before. But anyways, we can see through scouting orbs. I can't get that back, but I don't use it anyway, so like I said, it doesn't matter. It sounds like a gay club. Disco club. Or some other type of club. Aw, he stopped. Okay, looks like I can pick this lock. Not a very good beat, though, mind you. I don't know why I said gay club. It's specifically just for the gays that dance. When it could be any club at all. <laughs> I'm weird like that sometimes, I guess. Alright, looks like there's only one way into this building right here. So there's a mechanical face over there. Mechanical eye. I don't think I'm getting this building. Not even any windows in this building. Oh, there they are. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, dang it. There we go. That is cool, though. All right. I want to pick this lock. Let's see what's in the bar first before we uh, try to go through the sewer. I'm trying to stay out of the way of the eye. Oh, crap. I don't know if you can see through the window. So let's stay out of his view. Money and wine. Ah, my favorite year. Expensive. That's my favorite year. Is there a door over there? There's not a door over there. Okay. It's just fine. So let's go back to. I'm going to just call this a power substation. This looks like the way in. Hey! But there was other stuff that I wanted to look at. Like this. Not very helpful, but we looked at it anyway. I wonder if this, uh, how much power this <laughs> provides. Whee! Back down into the sewers. Why do I always end up down here? Uh, please don't get stuck, Garrett, because you will die. Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on. I don't have much air. I need air. Air would be nice. 
There we go. Okay. Let's take a breather here and we will continue our way into the station. But we will have to do that in the next episode.